hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be my eighth week of slimming world update so after last week you all know i had a weird kind of situation where i'd eaten quite badly but lost three and a half pounds which was crazy to me i don't know how i did it still but this week i thought i can't keep doing that it's not going to work for me every week so i thought i'm going to go back to basics i'm going to start properly again at the end of last week I did try to get back on plan properly and I did so I was just going to carry on and just try to get back to it because eating badly it's, it's not going to get me to where I want to be so I thought I'm just going to have to get back on it properly try to have my speed have my hex A and B and just my sins and not go out of them and overall I did I did pretty well with my plan um, I didn't have anything bad for me I didn't have anything out of my sins I've been drinking a lot more water the only thing I will say is I was a little bit more distracted this week which I think was a good thing because I'm looking for jobs at the moment I had a few interviews so I was spending most of my time kind of prepping for them making sure that like I knew everything that I needed to know for them making sure I had everything ready kind of practicing for them going to them um, so interviews took over a lot of my week this week and it was a good thing I think because it took my mind off food I wasn't as bored I wasn't as hungry I didn't feel the need to eat as much which is a good thing because often I get bored and that's when I eat and I think that's one of my main issues I get bored easily and that's when I want to eat because for some reason my brain thinks when I'm bored I'm hungry I think definitely taking my mind off of food has been a great thing this week and I'd like to carry that on a bit more maybe try to do more things maybe apply for more jobs obviously because I'm still looking for a job and yeah I just think that it's very important to kind of take your mind off of food that's definitely the biggest thing that I've learned this week because I've had a great week so I did go back to the new group again this week but I couldn't go at the time that I went last week because I had an interview so I went at a later time and I lost four pounds which is crazy again so last week I lost three and a half and this week I lost four and a half which I don't usually lose like a good bit and then another good bit it's usually like I lose a good few pounds and I lose like one or two pounds so I was really really surprised by that and I actually got my one and a half stone award which I was not expecting to get this week. I would have had to have lost three pounds, three and a half pounds I think it was and I actually lost four. So when she said you have your one and a half stone award I was like how did I do that because I don't know. I just feel like the fact that I didn't focus on food as much this week really helped me with it. So I got my one and a half stone award sticker and my certificate which I was really happy about and it's pretty orange I think it's perfect a perfect kind of autumnal colour so I was really happy that I got that so yeah that is what I lost this week four pounds which is crazy that means that I've lost seven and a half pounds in two weeks which is crazy to me so to get my two stone award I need to now lose six and a half pounds so my aim is to get as close to my um, two stone award as possible obviously knowing I'm not going to lose six and a half pounds in a week but just get as close or near to that as possible so that maybe the week after or the week after that I can hopefully get my two stone award so something I've been struggling with is the way I look and I know I've only lost one and a half stone but overall by this time last year I still weighed more than I did now and I remember as I was leading up to Christmas I felt really good about myself and the way that I looked and I think that's because I'd lost more but now because I haven't lost more even though I weigh less I still kind of feel bad about the way I look and I think it's just because I haven't lost as much yet maybe it'll come with time so yeah that's just something I thought I'd share with you all now i'm going to be showing you what my favorites of the week are so as you know it was halloween last week so i've had a few treats that i've been having over the past week and i just thought i'd show you these are all treat size little mini sweets and chocolates so we have some smarties and i think these are three and a half sins we have some drumstick squishies these are two and a half sins we have some round trees randoms these are also two and a half sins we have some we have some lion bars these are four and a half sins but definitely worth it 
we have some chocolate buttons i think the four sins and and i have some chomps which i think are three or three and a half sins so if i've got any of these wrong on what they are i'll put it in the down bar just to be 100 percent sure because that was kind of me just rushing through it showing you what i think they are but as you can see they're all kind of low and they're all below four and a half sins which i think is really good so you can have like a variety of them um, every day and I've been enjoying those over Halloween and going towards Halloween because I've been having like big bags of them for like £2 and £2.50 in Astra and Tesco so I've been getting them. I shared some with my sister one time when I got them and then this last time I shared half with my boyfriend because I can't trust myself with them all so I thought if I share them out then at least I've still got a few for myself but also I'm giving them to someone else and it's not completely all for me. But yeah, um, I think that's it for this video. I will just ask you my question. So on the theme of sweets and chocolate, I asked this over on my Instagram last week. But I wanted to know, what do you take when you go to the cinema that's kind of low sin? Or just anything that you take for your sins when you go to the cinema? Because I find that I like to snack on things like popcorn when I go to the cinema. And I've already had the Sun Bites popcorn, that's what I usually take. But I'm getting a little bit bored of that. So I'd love to know what your favourite kind of cinema snacks are. And yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I will see you on Sunday for another video. So don't forget to check that out. And if you're not subscribed already, then please do. Because it means the world to me. And we're getting closer to 400 subscribers. So please, please, please subscribe. And let everyone know about my channel. Because I would love to grow my little Slimming World family that I have um, created on my YouTube channel and you all mean the world to me so leave me a comment down below with your um, favourite cinema snacks and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!